Whoa, is that YBR? Yeah, it is. You should like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> That's the, that is the dumbest intro ever. We're rebranding. Now <laughs> we're going to use the worst intro possible, which is that. So we're in BMG Drive. We're going to be taking a look at a map called Woodbury Island. We got two places we can start the highway or the default, which looks like it's a picture of the highway, but it's not actually the highway, which is kind of confusing. You'll see what I mean. See what I mean? It looked like we were going to be on a paved road because of the picture, but the picture was lying to us. We're actually on a dirt road. And on a dirt road, I think we need an off-road vehicle. So we're going to get the Hopper Dune Edition. We're going to get in Tropical Blue because we got to bring the tropics with us because this map isn't as tropical enough for me. I need more tropical in my map. And this actually looks really cool having the blue body and then the brown top. I like that. I'm digging that. All right. So we're going to go fast. No, not that fast. We're going to flip over if we go much faster than what we're doing right here. In fact, oh my goodness gracious. Bouncing all over the place, but I remained in control enough to maintain momentum. Oh my goodness, how's this thing staying upright? <laughs> that is amazing. So right here, we're driving on a kind of dirt circle. And once we complete the circle, there's another place we'll be going to. But right now, the focus is just on this circle. And I've been flooring it this whole way, pretty much. Like, I've only let up on the gas very gently here and there. I'm going to actually let up on the gas. And we're right next to the cliff, though, because one mistake and you fall off the cliff and we can't be having that. And I cut that corner so hard. That was ugly. And this corner, I end up going too wide. I tried to overcompensate right there. You see, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to cut this one. But I needed to cut that one because it was so tight. All right, what we got right here, we got some steep stuff. I don't want to have any mistakes right here. Very easy to get your vehicles balanced off center when you're driving over these really bumpy terrains. Now, up ahead, there is a trash can. What am I going to do with the trash can? Crash directly into it because I can. Like, why is there a trash can there? I'm not sure, but... It being there, I had to crash into it. I, I just had to. And because of that, I need a new hopper. So here it is. Let's keep on going. We're going to complete this area with the hopper. And over there in the distance, you can see a building, which there isn't actually a road to. It's kind of weird. Like, you can drive there, but it requires off-roading through dirt terrain. Like, this is different. This is off-roading through a dirt road. They're, they're slightly different things. Although this one's actually more hard because I, I think I'm great. And I can go amazing off-road capabilities activate. But it's not like that. I got to keep it slow and steady. Because this terrain is deceptively bumpy and the bumps can kill you if you try to go fast. And I'll try to demonstrate that the next time I see you straight away, like, why you don't want to go faster here. Alright, it looks like right here is a perfect per uh, perfect place to do this. So we're going to go fast and just kind of watch the car what happens. Starting to bounce a little bit, starting to bounce a little bit. Oh, but it's getting good. It's holding itself upright. Alright, maybe you can go fast. I was afraid you would end up kind of just bouncing around and then rolling over. But nah, so far we're good just flooring it going as fast as we possibly can. And that's actually a loop already we've made from the starting spot. And that's what I was trying to get it to do is that little roll right there. And rear drive shaft's broken, so we're not going to be able to flip it over naturally. So we'll just go ahead and reset it. And now that we're done with this course, basically, like there's a little bit more to get to the next area. But we could go ahead and change this car out. How about we go with something a little less off-road focused? We'll get the rally version of the Abishu Pessima. And you know what? Let's keep the uh, tropical blue theme. Is there a tropical blue? No, sky blue. Okay, close enough for me. They're both... Kind of a relaxing blue color, although this one looks really, really hideous with the racing skin on it. I didn't think about that, but it's too late now. There's no backing down. We're going to be this really ugly blue car. And the, the taillights look like they should be blue just to match. It looks so wrong having the red right there because everything else is so blued up. See, right here, though, it is a little bit less bumpy, it feels like. So you can take this car through here without too much issue. But you still want to slow down here and there because there are bumps. Like, I'm making sure I'm trying to stay away from them. But, oh, I hit them right there. And we're getting up on two wheels. That was close to flipping over. Got to be a little bit more careful. Than, oh, goodness. Slow it way down. I was up on two wheels again. These two-wheel things are scary. All right, right here we got a hill. Come on, car. Accelerate up that hill. And then don't accelerate going down the hill because you'll roll completely off the hill and fall into the water. And you're sky blue. Once you fall in the water, nobody will be able to find your car because you'll blend in way too much. Even though this is sky blue, the sky is blue for the same reason the water is blue. It has to do with the way the light goes into it and like blue wavelengths are really short so it ends up making everything look blue because it's like reflecting the blue or something like that. I'm pretty sure. And ooh, that was interesting. Okay, we're kind of just uh, floating right here. I guess we'll try to bring this car back a little bit and then keep on driving through here carefully. That looks so weird. I have levitation powers. <laughs> I, oh, oh, come on, come, come on. I can't levitate. I can't levitate high enough. All right, what if we get something with some more ground clearance? Can we make it over that? So we're just going to grab D-Series and uh, let's go with the Marauder. That has a decent amount of ground clearance. So we'll back it up a bit and then see if we can levitate over the invisible gap. Here we go. Yes. Invisible gaps are creepy. So we actually have this really, really long road that ends in a jump. We're going to try doing that with the Marauder. 
And you see, it is a little bumpy, like, bump, bump. So it is good that we have a car that has a little bit extra ground clearance to it, I guess. Although I'm pretty sure we could do this with a stanced car. That's what we're going to be testing next time. Nice into the air, and then eventually into the water, and just let it drown. I don't know how deep this water is. It looks like it's a go for quite some time. Yeah, there's no ground because the car is now way up there. You see that speck? I'm pretty sure that's the car. That's how far away we are. Yep. All right, reset. Bring this thing back over to right here because I know I can't go over the Invisibump with a stanced car, but I'm pretty sure we could do the used one. So park this right here, and then we're going to swap it out for the stanced version of the... Let's go with the new Ibishu Pesama because I know that one has a stanced version and some of the other ones don't. You know, all the cars need a stock stanced version. Just because. Like, if this one has it, why not all of them? Oh, that's bumpy. Oh, actually, once it's getting up to speed, it's smoothing it out, though. Oh, that's amazing. Like, it starts off really rough, and then once you get up to speed, not too bad. Not too bad. Although, we're only going about 80 miles per hour. I think the Marauder was going about 100. And into the water. And virtually no damage. You can go and recover this car, and it'll just be really, really soggy. Although I'm no- Oh, never mind! It just exploded! Okay then, never mind at all. Let's go ahead and do one more run at this, but this time we need to be going as fast as we can, which means we're gonna use the drag version of the bar still, which I'm expecting to get up to 150 miles per hour if I can keep it straight over these bumps. And oh, it is just expertly going over these small bump into the wall right there, but didn't slow me down much. We're actually gonna be going 170. And look at this. Oh, that actually looks really good. If you were to like lower it like that, just put it on airbags. So you bring it to the car show, and you just sit it to the ground like that. And then when you're leaving, you go ahead and pump up the airbags, and boom, you got regular suspension clearance. I actually think that would have looked really good if you lowered it that much. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing flew much farther than the other ones. And, oh, wait a minute. Actually, right here is as low as the water goes because the car stopped going down. You see, it's just, it's done. It's saying, I'm, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere else. Okay. Now that we know how deep the water is, we got a new question. Can we continue driving or will we get stuck? So let's try to back out of here and then see. Oh, just got grabbed by one of my tires, but I still got three tires left here. If I can line this thing up with the road and then floor it. There we go. Whoa, come on. All right. It's got three tires. One that is uh, just a wheel, though. Now, I'm kind of curious. If you were driving on a dirt or mud surface... How bad would it be if you were just driving on steel wheels and that's it? No tires on it at all, just the metal. Couldn't be that bad, right? It'd be better than trying to do it on tarmac, I would think. And this thing's kind of uncontrollable with all this power, the dirt road, and one tire being busted. So we're just going to swap it out for uh, something kind of weird. We're going to go with the uh, Legrand, just because it seems like it'd be a fun car to drive right here. So we got this small oval track section that just circles this small neighborhood. So if you want to terrorize the neighborhood, you get your really loud car, the straight pipe. So that's in, in this case, it's my straight pipe Legrand V6. And then you just kind of go in circles around this place. And go around it and around it and around it. And ooh, there was actually kind of an interesting looking thing right there where I almost got caught, it looked like, with my tires. But nothing happened. So now none of y'all can sleep because I'm too loud. And then when you're done, you go to your house and hopefully the neighbors don't know which of the four houses you could possibly live in. Let's see, is this something that'll actually get you caught, or can you, uh... No, we're good. I wasn't sure if the log would get you caught if you could drive right over it like that, and you can drive over it. Although, apparently, if you're so focused on the log, you will completely blow it when you try to just drive normally and fall right off the road. How did I manage that? The camera angle was just so far off-center, I didn't realize what was happening until it was too late. So, same car, and we're gonna go up this hill to the fancy man's house. Maybe that's what it is. The guy with all the money, he's down there terrorizing the poor people. And then he goes to his house and just lives there with his amazingly fancy Brooke Legrand. Yeah, he's so rich. That's the car he drives. That was actually quite a workout for this thing. It was struggling. And you got some barrier right there so you don't accidentally fall off. But, uh, you know, barriers can't hold a YBR back all the time. Come on, if only I had all-wheel drive. We're going to fly off anyways. I don't care. I didn't think it would actually make it, but it had a chance. Whoop. And then just a little bit of traction there. Not quite yet. A little bit more. Not the wing. Gotta grab the trunk. Nope, the trunk didn't get enough grab. We grab it from there. Oh, we're stuck. There we go. We are really stuck in that barrier. That's why I couldn't get enough grab with the trunk. But now we get to watch it fall down a cliff. Worth it. And we gotta bring it back up the cliff. So it's the same thing, but in reverse. And a hundred times more dizzying and seizure-inducing. 
Woo! We're back on top. Now we get to go down, which should be a lot easier than going up. Oh my goodness, that was a little bit crazy right there. I almost lost it right there, just falling off the road because of how hard I did that 180. That was awesome though, I saved it. I'm thinking it's about time for a new vehicle though, so I'm just gonna look for a good opportunity to uh, dump this thing off the road and then we'll get a new one. I think if we accelerate hard right here, we might be able to get some damage on it, I don't know. I have no traction, so we're not going very fast. We'll see if we can do anything if we go down. And you see, yes, the area off of the road is pretty low resolution, unfortunately. But it has actually a good kind of terrain to it to just drive around. Like, you see, getting some good bumps and stuff trying to destroy this car. Although it's refusing to get destroyed, even though I've rolled it over about six times by now. I wasn't counting, that was just a guess. So don't say YBR can't count, say YBR can't guesstimate things. And it still wants to drive. Okay. Well, you did a good job proving that you can still drive. I don't care if you can still drive, though. I wanted a reason to get rid of you. And uh, I don't have a reason, so we're just going to do it anyways. Go with the rally version of the sunburst, and we can see if we can go climbing up the hill with this one. This should be fun. We don't have quite enough ground clearance, I think, to make it easy. But with a little bit of effort, it should be possible. Although I don't know exactly where off the road I came from. Got to do a little bit of a hunt through here. Actually, you know what? We have perfect amount of ground clearance for this. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bottoming out incident every now and then, but it's good enough to uh, make it nice and easy. There we are. Whoa! This road is bumpier than the outside terrain! I guess second I got on this road, I start bumping all over the place and starting to fly off the road. Alright, full speed. Oh goodness, no full speed, no full speed, no full speed! The road is too bumpy! Hey, remember that area I was telling you about how there's no way to get to it? Here we go, we're gonna go to it now. Because of, uh, reasons. I, I fell off the road. We're gonna take it. I look, you got like interesting looking terrain around here. It's just kind of a shame that it just looks so low resolution. You know, make it a little bit higher texture quality, throw some more bushes in, it'll be great to drive around through. Right, so the thing I'm going to is the ramp. And this car is not driving straight, so once we get to the ramp, we're gonna just freshen it up real quick like. There we are. And then up the ramp we go. So this area is actually from the stock derby map in the game. So it has a hole in the middle which you can just drop your car into, which we are going to do once we get to the top. Don't want to go too fast through there. Perfect. And then into the hole. Not that deep, but it's enough to uh, throw a car in there and then it's gone forever as far as I'm concerned. Unless, of course, you cheat it back out. Now, to get back to the road, what do you do? Well, I guess you could try to do it without ruining your car. I was going to say, do this, which is, of course, a lot more fun. Except main engine is broken, so it's not going to drive at all. All right, main engine broken, new car time. Let's go with a real off-roader. We're gonna get the off-road fire chief version of the Roamer. And then we should be able to get to a regular road and drive on that a little bit more with this thing. Come on, accelerator. There we go. It takes a second because it's so big and slow, but it'll get moving eventually. Although I might've needed actual off-road capabilities here because this is a little bit steep, isn't it? Come on, Roamer, roam this terrain. Roam it good. Oh, this is tough on it. This is tough. Can it do it? Can it do it? Yes, it can. So over there is a road that basically goes nowhere. We're gonna skip over that because we're about where we fell off of the road, just a uh, few feet more in the forward section. I gotta try not to fall off right here. Beautiful. And you can kind of see where this whole terrain's going. So we're just gonna follow it along as best as I can with the roamer bouncing all over the place. Trying not to roll over. That was my key goal right there. Like, I was off the road, but I didn't roll it. Ooh, there should be a mod called the roller. Where it's just a roamer that's really badly suspension set up, so it rolls over every time you go around a corner. I think there actually might be a mod kind of like that. I might have seen one before. But it wasn't called the roller. Because that's a good name. I copyright it right now. Just kidding, I don't care if anybody ever makes a mod called that. You don't even have to credit me for all I care. Although that is a great name. So over here though, we got one more ramp you could do. And that's most of this map. So until next time, this has been YBR. We're gonna do one more attempt at that ramp at high speed and that'll be it. Also, there's an underground building right there. I just realized that. Let me just go ahead and take a peek at that. Like some secret underground base. What are they doing in here? Oh my goodness, don't look in there. There's nothing. That's what's in there. All right, so we're gonna back this thing up and try to get a little bit of speed this time because I was just disappointed with the speed of the last one. And look at that palm tree. It got no leaves. That poor palm tree. At least I think it's supposed to be a palm tree. Like he got burnt or something. I don't know. 
All right, here we go. Should get a lot of speed from here. As long as I don't bounce too much. All right, that looks good enough, good enough. Well, nah, that terrain is just so bumpy. You'll lose all your speed by the time you get to the ramp. They want to make sure you don't accidentally overshoot the secret base. So anyways, until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.